Hello and welcome in. I am Greg Smith, recruiting extraordinaire for Hale Varsity. We are here at Friday Night Lights. I am joined by staff writer for Hale Varsity, Steve Mark. Steve, we saw some football action. Yeah, we saw a lot of uh, kids run around, have fun, uh, watch some of the official visitors, uh, seven of them, I think, um, to walk around, meet, meet people, have a good time. So overall, it was for a hot night. I think it was um, kind of just a really good event night for people to have fun. So. Yeah, and we'll start there. We saw all of the official visitors that, that were supposed to be in town. They were all walking around with their player hosts. It's always fun. As I think we kind of talked about here on YouTube earlier this week, always fun to see those guys kind of walk around and hang out with their player hosts and just kind of interact with each other, especially the quarterback, Pop Watson. Anytime that you have the quarterback in town, I guess did anything stick out about seeing Pop kind of walk around and interact with people? He's a people person, and <laughs> that's exactly what you want from a quarterback. He uh, just looked very comfortable going up to people I assume he didn't really know and just dapping them up and, and uh, talking with them, striking up conversation. It's exact, exactly what you want with a quarterback in my opinion. So um, yeah, it was, it was fun to finally uh, see him in person. I saw him at the spring game and uh, just to see him here today, walk around, have fun. Um, that was really cool. Yeah, and another thing that we saw a lot of action on in, with the camp itself, um, a lot of one-on-ones. I always feel like that's the part of this camp um, that kind of gets the most oohs and ahs. You get players, the current players, that really get into that as well. Um, Davon Hall, I'll call out a standout uh, from the camp, and it should be no surprise. Uh, the 2024 wide receiver from Bellevue West made a couple of really nice catches out there, and I know you had your eye on those quarterbacks. Yeah, two in particular, Haas Haney from Texas, Alito, Texas, and then wrote down his name here, Jack Wallace from Iowa City. Um, I really like Jack Wallace, a really good a really good stroke. I really like Haas Haney, too. Um, a little bit on the smaller side, I think he might be under six foot, but, you know, he's still growing and everything. Um, but, yeah, those two quarterbacks were the ones I had my eye on. They, they threw well. Um, I think uh, Jack was picked off one time in the end zone, but it was a really good play by, by the defender. But overall, I think those two were kind of the top ones, um, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I would definitely agree with that. I think that those guys stood out. There were a couple of defensive backs. It was a little weird because we didn't have names yeah, <laughs> on those guys. Yeah. Um, we had them on some of the quarterbacks and some of the skill, other skill position guys. That Those defensive backs were tough, but there were a couple that, that stood out, a couple that got some instruction directly from Eric Chenander and from defensive backs coach Travis Fisher. Um, so that was always good to see as well. Uh, but we're going to definitely have more coverage, uh, continued coverage here on Hale Varsity's YouTube channel and on HaleVarsity.com, a Friday Night Lights camp and the Pipeline camp coming up tomorrow and all things recruiting because uh, we've got all of the visitors in town this weekend as well. Make sure you like the video, subscribe. Again, subscribe to HaleVarsity.com as well. We will catch you guys next time.